I always get just so excited anytime like anything new opens here at Disney. It's a place in Disney I've never been. It just makes me very, very excited as a Disney fan. made it into the France Pavilion and since the last time we were here in October they have now opened the area where Ratatouille is going to be we ha now know an opening date for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure it is Disney World's 50th anniversary October 1st of this year 2021 and that is just gonna be amazing that ride looks so so cute so they've extended like they've opened up the area where you're going to be able to walk back to it it's located let me show you like right here back behind like this has always been here here's the typical France pavilion but now this is going to be the pathway that leads you back behind where they've built the whole ratatouille section and they still have it blocked off at one certain point so you can't get right to where ratatouille is but you can walk on this pathway and I believe they have restrooms back here you can see where the new crepery is going to be this topiary how appropriate with Remy because he's coming soon He's back there. He's so cute. It's on a block of cheese here. A wheel of cheese. Well, they even put a banner up for Ratatouille opening 2021. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. My very first time walking in this part of the park, a brand new part. It's so pretty. They had so much attention to detail. Just look, all the like windowsills. And you can see the Skyliner like really up close. Oh my gosh, so many times we were riding the Skyliner like last year, even like almost two years ago now, and we were riding the Skyliner and like peering down, talking about the fact that we're like, that's all gonna open one day, and now we're over here. I always get just so excited anytime like anything new opens here at Disney, anything that I haven't experienced, even though it's like the ride's not even open yet, but it's literally just like we can be in this it's a place in Disney I've never been. It just makes me very, very excited as a Disney fan. We have to look here. I believe that one of these things, oh yeah, this whole thing makes up Ratatouille. You see, it's like that's his head and his one eye. And then this makes his swoopy, his tail. Everything is designed to look like Ratatouille, you see? Can you see it? Oh, you can see this one really well. There's an ear, his eye, his face. Yeah, you see it now? The ear and a little smile right there. <laughs> Sometimes when you step back too, once you know what to look for, now they pop out at you. Because I at first had to like really look too, and then once you see it, it's like boom, there it is. You just love all the little details like that they put in here. That's why like even this little section, the, the ride isn't even here yet, the creperie hasn't even opened yet, but it's just like, it's exciting to come walk back here because there's so much to look at. You see it now? Yes. Yay! <laughs> There go those Skyliners. I feel like there's so many Easter eggs probably in here as well. Like there's Gusteau's name there on that little sign for Chef Gusteau. And yet back here's the new restrooms that they have. And this is the stroller parking. Yes, let's walk in here because once the ride opens, we probably won't be coming back here. It's gonna be all filled with strollers, but right now it's a nice little Pat that you can get literally right underneath of the Skyliner. Like right under the Skyliner. Hi! They probably can hear us because you know you can hear when you're in the Skyliner. There's some lizards hanging out back here too. So this is gonna be the window that you go to. This is gonna be the crepery right here. I am so excited for this. I love crepes. <laughs> so the fact that we're gonna have a whole crepe shop, that's exciting. And yeah, right back here, these walls will be gone and we'll be able to walk back to Ratatouille October 1st of this year. All right, we're heading back into Morocco. So I know I said earlier that I thought that could be like filming in that center section, but my mom was saying, you think that's been there like a while of recently, that whole construction wall is like in the middle of the pavilion. Someone just had it, Some one of the vloggers that we had. Yeah. I think you can still walk around. Yeah, I was seeing people like still walking around. So, so you see they have this whole hedge wall here. This is usually where that beautiful like tile fountain and everything is. So I guess they're just doing like, 
Oh yeah, it looks like they're just doing construction around like the pavement. Looks like it's being ripped up there. The fountain still looks pretty much intact from what I can see through the through the shrubbery there. Oh. Yeah, you can still walk around this way to get into Morocco. This pavilion also, every time I come back here, it, it's like also up there in the top couple pavilions for me because there's so much to explore. Like you just walk around and there's all these like hidden pathways too is what I like about it. Like in the market and everything. All these shops are closed though right now. Reminds me of Indiana Jones back in here. <laughs> Every time I come see this. Yeah. We're continuing our little walk. Oh, that's a cute tank top. Look at the that. The pink tags. one. See all the tags? Oh, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> that's really cute. Isn't that cute? The little crop top. What are those things right there? Is that like a planter? Sweet as a sweet as honey? That's cute. And I love the little spike coffee mug. Cute stuff in here. So yeah, that's where we just were, the festival market. Back in my favorite pavilion, we're back in Japan. I think we're gonna go in the Misakishi shop. I like this shop a lot. This is where we found Mickey's bowl last time. That was such a victory, such a shopping victory. It's cheaper than the first time we got it. Oh, really? I think I spent like, I don't know, I want to say it's like nine or ten the first Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Maybe he needs another one. <laughs> so here's Miss Akishi. And yeah, if you don't know what I'm referencing, I'll go back and link the vlog. The last time that we were here on our last vacation, we found Mickey's treat dish. So our cat Mickey at home, we always bring him presents every time we come to Disney. And a couple years ago, we got him this really cute, they have beautiful like flatware sets back here in the back room. And we got him this really nice one that had a cat on it. And it broke um, probably like maybe well over two years ago. And like we had checked every time we'd been in here and they never had it. They had it in like other colors and everything, but it, we were like, it wasn't the same thing. And um, this last time that we were there back in October, they had it, which was like such a, Disney shopping victory, so that was awesome. Yeah, Mickey's certainly spoiled. We have to bring him presents every time. Of course we do. This time we need to find like a toy for him. He needs like some type of new cat toy or just something that he can use as a toy. Like sometimes we'll bring him little like bouncy balls or different things. Yeah, hopefully this will come back soon. Ever since the shutdown and the parks reopened, they haven't brought back the pick up roll yet, which I've done this experience before. My mom's done it before. It's very, very fun. It's very memorable. You can make some amazing jewelry pieces too out of the pearls that you get and it's just so fun to like pick out which pearl you want or like which oyster you want and then see what you get some people get multiples some people get like what color did you get did you get a gray pearl i know i got gray you did I, mine was just a white it was a white one yeah katie before she got a pink one i think yeah some either katie or kyle i remember when they were here years ago my cousins they got like some rare ones also Oh, mom's heading right here. We love this room too that has the beautiful kimonos in it. They have some really, really neat hair pieces, hair accessories. Me and you have both gotten like the hair ties in here before. These scrunchies, yeah, they're new. Okay, this is what, me and you both got one of these before in here. Cute hair ties. I guess, look, this is the newer design. They have like butterflies. Yeah, those are nice instead. But I really don't like them as much as the, the flowers. Yeah. yeah. Mine are really nice. They're almost like this porcelain, but they're Yes, nice. they're gorgeous. Well, they have the incense going. Oh, it's like this, but in flowers. It's but yes, like the actual flower plant. piece. This music is so beautiful and peaceful as well. Dad's looking at the bonsai kits. I do love bonsai trees. They're so, so cool. Yeah, you can get these kits here. It tells you what type of bonsai it is. It's a little seed kit. Back here in this room, this is where they have a lot of the Japanese snacks. That's something I want to do sometime is get like a bunch of the Japanese snacks and do a video trying them all. But they don't have, mom just said any of his dishes that we got before. They are like really, oh my gosh. Yeah, not as many things. I'm glad that we got his dish when we did. I'm gonna do a little painting.
here we go. A little free advertising. <laughs> This store is so cool. It's very nice and peaceful in here. It's very Miyagi-Do. We are all like obsessed with Cobra Kai. If any of you are as well, let me know. But yeah, that's what a lot of this, like all the bonsais and everything it reminds me of. It's so, so beautiful. I want to go to Japan one day, like seriously. Italy and we are heading down to Germany we may go into our favorite little place the German wine cellar Does that sound like the plan are we maybe gonna get some wine yes yes okay yes we always have to check for the ginormous lizards peering down at the village is there one? Oh yeah there he is he's running up a tree running up a little shrub there goes the tree there's one coming this way too they're gonna pass each other No, I didn't really. The train car is decorated with flowers. For flower and garden. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, the flower train is coming back. We're like waiting to see it. Here it comes. Woo! Oh yeah, they do have flowers on it. And there's Snow White and Dopey again. Okay, here we go into the Germany pavilion. Yes, and our favorite little wine cellar is right in here. All right, let's go and see what they got. Okay, so I just got the Madonna Spaltese, which is a supposed to be a fruity and sweet wine. Yeah, this is really good. I can't remember. I don't think I ever got this wine before in here. It's good. The bathroom is one of these. Nice and light and refreshing right now. Very nice. So we just came down here into China in the little courtyard to sit and have our wine. And there's a Disney squirrel. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's standing up on top of here. Hi. Hi, Disney squirrel. Oh my goodness. Hi. What are you doing? Also, back over here, look, this is where these panda topiaries are. They are so cute. They're like actually eating the little stalks they have in their hand. So look, they have this Chinese zodiac garden set up. And you can see all of these, they're made out of, it looks like beans and like all natural things. It's really cool. Down here's mine, the ox. <laughs> of all things, you hate snakes and you're a snake. Oh, geez. And he was a Slytherin. And you were a Slytherin, yes. When he got tested out in, in uh, California, California at the Warner Brother tour. Yes, oh my gosh. Oh, someone can be a dog, a rooster. Mom, what did we say you are? I was the monkey. I was back. You were the monkey. You were the, did we get to read yours? Um, Let's see. It, it, it wasn't me. It wasn't you? I want to know what the ox is. Let's see, it's down here. So we'll have to stop back and read mine some other time when we're here. Oh, there's also a tiger. They're cool how they're made. They're really neat. The ox. It's right down there. Dad's fixing Disney World. Things are broken and he's fixing them. This back here is where, oh look, there's that squirrel. He just like ran and like jumped. I wonder if it's one of those flying squirrels. Hi. How are you? This is usually where Mulan does her meet and greet back in here. Look at him. He's like flying. He's like jumping. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look at that little bird taking a bath. He was taking a bath a second ago. Lily pads down in here. It is such a beautiful evening right now. Uh, I mean, look at this. It doesn't get any better than this. This walk-in world showcase. Just had a nice like, little drink, sat down, we're chatting. It's amazing. Well, the other shop we always like is this one, the House of Good Fortune. They have some cool things in here. Looks like right now that's the exit only. We have to go this way to the entrance. Remember the one time we there was that lady who thought this was a real hotel? 
It was one of those moments of the things that you like witness and hear. It's just funny. Yeah, this woman was like adamant with her husband. She was like, that is a hotel. You can stay there. And he's like, it's not though. It really, it's pretend like it's for show. Cause I think one of these things like said hotel or something on it and it's all just theming. But like, she was like adamant with him. Like it was a hotel. Seriously, how much do you think that would cost to like stay in one of those for the night? I would be happy if it became a hotel because if you could just like look out over World Showcase, that would be pretty awesome. Let's do a little dance. You make the head go? You gotta like twist it. <laughs> He's going to the music. They have pandas, like a whole panda section in here. Was it something for Mickey? Cause, huh. Trying to remember, we know we saw on somebody else's vlog that had been in here recently something that we were like, oh, that's so cool, we have to check that out. And like, we cannot remember what that was now, so we just have to go through and look at everything. <gasps> okay, well, here's something they have kimonos for your cat. Usually, this stuff is always advertised for dogs, but this is like literally, mom, look at this. Mickey could have a kimono. Like, it actually usually, he would hate. usually, it's like advertised for dogs, but this is legit like a cat yeah, we can thing. Oh my god. That would freak him out. That would, he would do the thing where he like shakes his paw like, no, I'm not wearing this. Or a little party hat. You know, that's not a good present for him. It would be more so like, enjoyment for us to dress him up and take a picture. Oh, we do have, off to insert, we have a pumpkin costume we put on him every year for Halloween. We just leave it on for like 30 seconds to get his pick, cause he's not about it, but he looks so cute. <laughs> Is Lay's like a, a Chinese? Thing? I didn't think so, but yeah, they look at these flavors. There's lime. What's this one? Cucumber. Cucumber. What? I don't even know what that would taste I mean, like. I, I understand pickled. Pickled. Yeah, like pickled, but, but just cucumber. Cucumber's kind of weird. That's um, crab. Fried crab flavor. So that's probably like with Old Bay or something, I, I would imagine. Um, and what's this one? Texas grilled barbecue flavor. That is so interesting. Oh, really? There's more like different flavors? Yeah. What's that one? American. Wait, it's called American. Flavor. American classic flavor. Classic. So like in China, like our just traditional chips are like novelty probably. Italian red meat flavor. flavor. <laughs> just red meat flavor. Okay. And then um, that's the same one, the Texas barbecue. Okay. And what's that one? The spicy? Grilled, Grilled squid. What? Squid. Oh, my oh God. no. I don't know about that one. Out of all of them, like this one makes sense. We actually got something like this from Publix. Um, it was a different brand, but we were thinking with guacamole, that would be really good as a little snack this week in the room. But this one has me the most intrigued, probably the cucumber. I'm telling you, that's something I want to do sometime. Like a World Showcase haul of like unique snacks. We always say that about Japan, but that'd be cool to like do like all these different things. Is that strawberry? It looks like a strawberry. That's strawberry insane. Lay's chip? kind of good because it's kind of like a um, sweet and salty I would imagine what are those nuts walnuts they don't have like words on them they're written in Chinese hmm. interesting they have all these little incense packs that you can get oh, and some like oils like aromatherapy oils and such nice dishes like to display your incense on. Oh, I have actually one of these pill cases that I keep in my purse, like to actually usually bring it with me into the parks, like just to always bring like some Advil or you know different things that you never know when you might need it. So these are just so pretty. From the earth, from the earth bracelets. Oh, that one's pretty. Some different things. Well, I think over here is like their hair accessories. Oh, they have those um, like butterfly things like we saw in Japan, but in um, a hair tie form. The line for Frozen looks like it goes pretty far back there. We waited about that point last time, but they didn't have that whole back section open that they were roping people back through. But these lines always look super long, but because of the distancing, it's usually actually not as bad. Another flower garden festival item from the Epcot Sunshine Griddle. Oh my goodness, the presentation. Look at this. Here's our avocado toast. That was a total five out of five. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love the rainbow effect that it's making. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. Look at this. 